The Assembly is now in session. Assembly Member Mays notices the absence of a quorum. The Sergeants at Arms will prepare the chamber and bring in the absent members. The Clerk will call the roll. Ashajian, Alejo, Allen, Baker, Bigelow, Bloom, Bonilla, Bonta, Bro, Brown, Burke, Calderon, Campos, Chang, Chow, Chavez, David Chu, Kansen Chu, Cooley, Cooper, Dababne, Daly, Daly, Dodd, Eggman, Frazier, Gaines, Gallagher, Christina Garcia, Eduardo Garcia, Gatto, Gibson, Gomez, Gonzalez, Gordon, Gray, Grove, Hadley, Harper, Hernandez, Holden, Irwin, Jones, Joan Sawyer, Kim, Lackey, Levine, Linder, Lopez, Lowe, Mainshine, Mathis, Mays, McCarty, Medina, Melendez, Mullen, Nazarian, Obernolte, O'Donnell, Olson, Patterson, Perea, Quirk, Rendon, Ridley Thomas, Rodriguez, Salas, Santiago, Steinorth, Stone, Thurmond, Ting, Wagner, Waldron, Weber, Wilk, Williams, Wood, Madam Speaker.
I don't know the how old. What do you want, brother? Members, a quorum is present. A quorum is present in the assembly. We ask our guests and visitors in the rear of the chamber and in the gallery to please stand for the prayer. The day's prayer will be offered by our assembly chaplain, Father Constantine Papadimos. Father Papadimos. Thank you. Good afternoon. Let us pray. Lord, Scripture says that joy comes in the morning. When we wake up in the morning with our heart full of faith, you send joy knocking at the door. And when we declare that this is going to be a good day, we answer the door. We will have received the gift of joy that you sent. Lord, thank you for another beautiful day. Let us enjoy this day, and in doing so, brighten somebody else's life as well. Amen. Thank you, Father. We ask our guests and visitors to remain standing and join us for the flag salute. Please join Assemblymember Chow as he leads us to the pledge. Mr. Chow. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Ms. Olson, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Three-minute Republican caucus in the rules room right now, please. Members, Republican caucus in the rules room, rules committee room. The assembly will stand in recess. Members, the assembly is back in session.
The assembly is back in session. Reading of the previous day's journal. Assembly Chamber, Sacramento, Thursday, August 27, 2015. The assembly met at 9 a.m. Honorable David Chu, assist- Assistant Speaker Pro Tem of Assembly Presiding. Chief Clerk E. Dotson Wilson at the desk. Reading Clerk Kathleen M. Lewis reading. The roll is called. Assemblymember Weber moved to quorum call the assembly. Mr. Holden moves and Ms. Waldron seconds that the reading of the previous day's journal be dispensed with. Presentations of petitions, there are none. Introduction and reference of bills will be deferred. Reports of committees will be deemed read and amendments deemed adopted. Messages from the governor, there are none. Messages from the Senate, there are none. Moving to motions and resolutions, the absences for the day. For illness, Assembly Member Chavez. Mr. Holden, you are recognized for your procedural motions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I request unanimous consent to suspend Assembly Rule 118 and allow Assembly Members Rodriguez to have guests and photographers on the floor today. Without objection, that request is granted. Mr. Speaker, I request unanimous consent to suspend Assembly Rule 45.5 and allow Assembly Member Patterson to speak on adjourned in memory today. Without objection, that request is granted. Pursuant to Assembly Rule 96, I request unanimous consent to re refer the following bills to committee Senate Bill 163, Hertzberg, from the Elections and Redistricting Committee to the Rules Committee, Senate Bill 726, Hueso, from the Utilities and Commerce Committee to the Rules Committee. Without objection, such shall be the order. At the request of the author, please send the following bills to the inactive file. File item 90, Senate Bill 315, Monning. File item 105, Senate Bill 654, De Leon. The clerk will note. At request, unanimous consent to suspend Assembly Rule 78 and remove file item A9, AB 1396, Bonta, from the inactive file without the one-day notice. Ms. Waldron, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We object and ask for a roll call vote. Thank you, Ms. Waldron. Mr. Holden is moving. This is seconded by Ms. Garcia. This is a suspension of the rules. Members, a procedural vote. The clerk will open the roll. Mr. Holden is asking for an aye vote. Ms. Waldron is asking for a no vote. This is on the suspension of the rules, members. Requires a majority. Clerk will. All members vote or desire to vote. This is a procedural vote, members. This requires 41 votes, members. All members vote or desire to vote. Procedural vote, Mr. Holden is asking for an aye vote. Ms. Waldron is asking for a no vote. The clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote, ayes 41, noes 19. The rules are suspended. Pursuant to Assembly Rule 77.2, I am re-referring the following bills to committee. File item 24, AB 708, Joan Sawyer, and AB 1396, Bonta, to the Business and Professions Committee. File item... Ms. Waldron, state your point of order. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we feel that this bill has only had an urgency clause and has not been substantially amended under that rule, and so we feel it's out of order. Thank thank you, Ms. Waldron. This is on AB 1396. Uh, Pursuant to Assembly Rule 77.2, it is at the discretion of the Speaker uh, to re-refer this item. So, uh, Ms. Waldron, uh, that point of order is not well taken. Also, pursuant to Assembly Rule 77.2, on the re-referral, re-referring file item 77, SB 637, to the Natural Resources Committee. 
in file item 92 SB 27 Hill to the Agriculture Committee. Mr. Holden, you are recognized. Mr. Speaker, I request unanimous consent to suspend Joint Rule 62A, the file notice requirements to allow the Agricultural Committee to meet and hear Senate Bill 27 Hill on Wednesday, September 9th, 2015 at 9 a.m. in Room 126. Without objection, such shall be the order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, we are moving to guest introductions. On behalf of Assembly Member Freddie Rodriguez, whose birthday it is today, by the way. On behalf of the Assembly Member, I'd like to welcome his sister and brother-in-law to the Assembly, Rosalie and Ezekiel de Leon. Assemblymember Freddy Rodriguez's family members with us in the assembly today. Let's please welcome them. <laughs> members, a quick announcement. Today is the last day to receive a conference report at the Senate or Assembly desk. Today is the last day to receive a conference report at either the Senate or Assembly desk. We are moving to business on the daily file. Members, we are going to the top of the concurrence file. We will begin with file item number two. That's AB 189. Clerk will read. Assembly Bill 189 by Assemblymember Bloom and others in actually in state government. Mr. Bloom, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I rise to concur in amendments taken in the Senate to AB 189, a measure that authorizes the California Arts Council to establish an official state-designated cultural district program for California. The amendments ensure that this program will not displace residents of these districts and ensures that people like artists and community members are involved in all aspects of the creation of the uh, districts. The measure has no opposition, has enjoyed bipartisan support, and I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Ms. Waldron, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As a co-author of AB 189, I urge your support. It's a, also an economic development tool that will help local governments in light of losing our redevelopment funding, and it's a great energizer for the urban core, so I urge your support. Thank you, Ms. Waldron. All debate having ceased on the item, Mr. Bloom, you may close if you wish. Thank you. I ask for your I vote. Clerk will open the roll. All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? All members vote. Who desire to vote? Clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote. I have 66, no zero. Senate amendments are concurred in. File item 3, AB 176. Clerk will read. Assembly Bill 176 by Assemblymember Bonta and others and actually in a data collection. Mr. Bonta, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. AB 176 will address the health and edu education disparities of ethnic subgroups in the API community. The Senate amendments make technical changes and ensure the costs of the bill are minor and absorbable. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, members. Thank you, Ms. Bonta. Seeing no discussion or debate on this item, clerk will open the roll. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote or desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll. Tally the vote. I-64, no zero. Senate amendments are concurred in. File item four, pass and retain. File item five, AB 182. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 182 by Assemblymember Alejo and others and act relating to elections. Mr. Alejo, you may open. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. AB 182, a joint bill with my colleague from San Gabriel Valley and from Alameda, is back for concurrence with technical and clarifying amendments being taken in the Senate. 
AB 182 will amend the California Voting Rights Act to allow challenges to district-based elections that are imposed or applied in a manner that disenfranchises minority voters. Both the Federal Voting Rights Act and the California Voting Rights Act are landmark pieces of legislation that seek to prohibit and prevent discriminatory voting practices. Currently, the CVRA only permits challenges to at-large election systems, and having no state current law to protect these communities from discriminatory district elections, AB 182 will further the CVRA protections and ensure fair representation and accountability at the local level. This bill is a reintroduction of SB 1365 by now Secretary of State Alex Padilla, which was vetoed last year by the governor. But this year, with the help of our sponsors, we have worked to address the concerns of the governor and stand in good faith that the voting strength of minority communities is not diluted. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you, Mr. Alejo. Mr. Hernandez, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm honored to be a joint author on Assembly Bill 182, and I proudly stand in support of this measure today. The Voting Rights Act passed 50 years ago, a historic policy change that brought hope to the disenfranchised voters. Yet we encounter instances, whether by design or by resistance, communities across our state still facing challenges as they exercise the right to vote. I feel strongly about the need to ensure that every citizen in every community has a voice. AB 182 will empower communities to create stronger accountability in city councils throughout our state and increase voters' faith in those that represent them in our local governments. I strongly urge your eye support. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Harper, you are recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. This bill represents yet another bill to continue to give partisan advantages in local races, which is transparent and obvious I urge opposition to this bill. All debate having ceased on the item, Mr. Alejo, you may close. Yeah, just in response to the comments by my colleague who likes to wear many hats, um, the Voting Rights Act allows communities to move to district elections, but there is no process that if the districts are drawn in a way to compact voters, or design them in a discriminatory way, there's no way to have a court review that. That's all this bill does, is allow a neutral judge to oversee how these boundaries have been drawn to make sure that there's no compacting or discriminatory effect on minority voters. That's all that this bill will do. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Mr. Alejo. With that, the clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll, tie the vote, ayes 45, noes 21. Senate amendments are concurred in. File item number six, AB 340, clerk will read. Assembly Bill 340 by Assembly Member Weber and others enacting to post-secondary education. Dr. Weber, you may yes, open. Yes, Mr. Speaker and members, I rise today uh, for the post-secondary education campus climate report bill, AB 340. Uh, it's back for concurrence. The Senate amendments require the community college and the CSU and recommends that the UC to adopt and publish policies on harassment, intimidation, and bully. This AB 340 has enjoyed bipartisan support in both houses, and I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Dr. Weber. Seeing no discussion on this item, clerk will open the roll. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. All members vote who desire to vote. The clerk will... Close the roll. Tally the vote. Ayes 55, noes 12. Senate amendments are concurred in.